Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Imperial. Today we are going to talk about how I stay organized and productive as a content creator and as an architect. I used to take pride in the fact that I didn't need a calendar or a reminder of some sort to know where I need to be or what I need to do. However, as I continue to take on more tasks in my personal and professional life, it's getting harder and harder to rely on this old thing. And so, that's where Notion comes in. I started using Notion back in 2019 to help manage my YouTube videos, but I actually ended up using it for a lot more than just that. I use it to track my architecture projects, my YouTube videos, my Instagram collaboration, my podcast episodes, my tasks for the day, the week, the month, and even my goals for the year. Notion has become my second brain, and I think it's super cool that they are the sponsor of today's video. So just in case you are intimidated by Notion, don't worry, I felt the same way. It's actually super simple and super intuitive. The key is don't make your systems more complicated than it needs to be. So let's take a look at my dashboard. This is my Notion workspace. This is my dashboard. I'm calling it a command center. And basically I spend my mornings looking at this to make sure I know what I need to do for the day or even sometimes what I need to do for the week. Let me walk you through it. So on my command center, I have different spaces and areas. First up, we have the mindset area. And I would like to change this, you know, depending on what my season is. But right now, motion versus action is still very relevant for me. And this is something I got from Atomic Habits. This reminds me to get in the mindset of, hey, get out of planning, go do something and actually do the thing, right? On the right side, we have quick links, which are essentially the places or pages that I go to the most. So we have brand, which is my Instagram, YouTube, and podcasting. We'll go to that later. My architecture business, my video list, my 2022 goals. I just like to look at them every now and then. My Google Calendar and income tracking. So you might be wondering how come I'm still using Google Calendar. Basically, I use that calendar for scheduling and time blocking and maybe even like setting up recurring tasks or things that I need to do like paying the bills and everything else goes into Notion. It's a tool that I use to capture my thoughts, set specific tasks for the day, week. So below the mindset and quick links, I have this header for this week. It helps me divide basically the space. And I have this prompt right here. What's one thing I could do today that would help me feel productive? Sometimes when I get overwhelmed, this helps me just figure out, okay, what's that one thing I need to do today that would help me feel like I was productive for the day and that I've accomplished something. I have reminders and notes on the right. And so this is where I would write some reminders. Just for example, order coffee pods, coffee pods, or maybe even like drop off packages. Sometimes I'll have reminders like this and if I need to carry it over for the following week, I add this emoji right here and just helps me, you know, carry it over to the next week. And I'll show you how I do that. The most important thing out of all of this is this master task list here. This is what helps me get the job done. So this master task list is a database. So if I click it, it'll take me there. This list basically contains everything and anything that I need to do for whatever category, whether it be general, personal, YouTube, Instagram, my architecture business, podcast, they're all written down here and I have different views so that let's say I just want to look at my YouTube tasks, it'll show up there. Maybe I just want to look at all my Instagram tasks, it'll show up there and it's all sorted out by deadline. So I know which ones need to be done first. And I have other like columns here. Is it related to a video? Is it related to an architecture project? This one is. So how do I use this on my dashboard? Let's go back to the command center. As you can see here, this is empty because ideally I would have done all the tasks that I need to do. It's filtered so that only the tasks that are happening the following week will show up. And it shows up right here under no day because the days are not set yet. On a Friday afternoon, I would usually click this and take a look at all of the tasks that I need to do. So let's do that. Email Josh, this is on a Monday. I know February 7 is a Monday. I wanna film Notion on the afternoon. 
right there. Submit Notion video on the 10th. Actually, let's go here first. Edit Notion on the 8th, Tuesday. Print drawings, nine, and then reset tasks. As you can see, this actually usually isn't deleted. I just did that for the purpose of this video, but this stays here. I never click done here because I know I have to do it again. I just changed the date. So as you see now, no day is now at a zero because there are no tasks to be done. When I'm scheduling this task for the week, I like to look at my upcoming tasks. And this basically is based off the same database, the master task list, although the filter is set so that I could see all the tasks that are coming up within 30 days. And so I like looking at all this so that if there are things that I either need to push forward or push back, I could do that. So if there are delays in the products or I simply just want to move a video earlier, like for example, post no flop Fridays, maybe I want to do this this coming Friday instead, the 11th. So now it goes away from this view. And as you can see, no day now has another task there. And so I would click that and put no fluff Friday on Friday and then put done when it's done and it goes away. So this is also where this reminders and notes come in. Let's just say, for example, I was able to do this, but I put this emoji on there because I want to carry it forward the following week. So now I know that, oh, I need to put this somewhere in here. And it looks like Wednesday would be the best day because I'm already out from this meeting. So usually I would type in here, drop off package, and then you know set the proper date. And then I would delete this and start over for the following week. So let's minimize this upcoming task for now. And let's take a look at inbox. So this is the same database again. This master task list inbox is meant to just put on more tasks onto the list. So maybe throughout the week or the day, I think of things that I need to do. Oh, I need to shoot that thumbnail. And I know I have to do it a specific day. So I set it uh, on maybe next week, Tuesday. Maybe I need to order that coffee pot that I was talking about. And I want to do it on the 18th. So until I click process, everything stays in here. And once I do it, then it would only show up here when I needed to. But if you look at upcoming tasks, now it shows up here again, order coffee pods. And then what was the other one? Film or shoot thumbnail. Yeah, right there. So now it shows up here because it's properly organized. I just think that's super cool. All I need to do is make sure that I fill out all of these and everything, the systems that I put in place will work for me. I've also created different views so that if I want to look at my tasks by calendar, now I could see that, okay, this week is really busy. It's full. I have stuff on there. Next week is kind of the same, but the 21st to the 25th is wide open. So this tells me that, hey, I need to be doing something that week and it just helps me plan accordingly. Now let's take a look at other ways I use Notion. Let's go over to brand. So this is the hub for my brand. And so video list is here, podcast affiliate links, idea dump, sponsor list, assets. These are just things that I always go to. And then down below, I have brand tasks, which is essentially the same master task list, having a filter only showing like YouTube, Instagram, and podcast. I don't have podcasting here because I'm slacking right now, but it would show up here if I was on top of it. And then below that, I have my upcoming videos, so I know what videos I need to focus on. And this is showing videos that have a target date that's within the next month. And then below that, I have the spending collaborations, which is basically a reminder or a track of all of the collaborations I have that are not sponsorships. Maybe there are like more like product exchange or Instagram collaborations I need to take pictures of and whatnot. Now let's take a look at my video list. And this is heavily inspired by Thomas Frank's. Everyone uses his templates. And so I thought, why not just use it as a baseline and then modify it to how I use it. But just for example, how I use Notion, I set a priority status research. Actually, I am filming and then target day and then tags. This helps me make sure that I'm doing a variety of videos, different kinds of videos, 
I'm not doing too much tech or too much architecture. I like to have a good mix. And so if you look at one project, if I open it as a page, all of my title ideas are here, sponsor information, notion, and then a bureau list. I didn't use it for this simply because it's more of a screen recording kind of video with this talking head. And so that's pretty easy, but I have my research notes and then script. It's pretty straightforward. And then I have at the bottom publishing checklist and editing checklist. So I have different views for the video list. Um, I have this idea list, which is showing everything that's only an idea. So when I'm thinking of, oh, what do I create next? This is where I go to. And then as soon as I change the status from idea to research or whatever, then it goes over to this right here. And then I assign the proper priority status tags and whatnot. So now let's go over to my architecture workspace. I have this uh, mindset right here, less but better. This is based off of the book Essentialism. And this is the mindset I would like to have for my architecture firm. I want to be able to create homes that are not overly designed and not excessive in any way. So I have dashboard here, which is the project track. SOPs. And then on the right, I have quick links. Um, I have Smartsheet here, a contractor I work with use this. So this is what how we coordinate with each other. And then we have accounting. Every time I need to build something, it's easy to just click it here. Again, as you can see, I have my master task list database here. Then we go to project track. This project tracking is inspired by 30 by 40 design workshop. Um, template so like I said again it works why recreate the wheel I just kind of improved on it adjusted some things or removed things that I don't need if I have a new project I could easily just like let's pretend Imperial home so as soon as I open a project I created the template so that everything and anything that I need to think about is here within the project we have action items which again is linked to the master task list now you're seeing how important it is really and so if I created something there that is related to this project, it'll show up here. And the last thing I want to share with you guys is my mind palace. That's a reference from Sherlock. This is basically a compilation of all of resources, content that I've consumed or I want to consume. So if we look at essentialism right here, we were talking about that earlier, audiobook. Um, so while I'm listening to it, I write my notes here. I'm not done listening to it yet. It's a really good listen it's just nice to have it all in one space especially if i want to refer to it again later so for example if i wanted to save this very trustworthy website onto my notion all i have to do is use this extension and then essentially click my mind palace um, as soon as i open my notion as you can see it shows up right here john imperial and i could tag it accordingly so i could do a blog entry and then the URL is there. It's a very good way to keep track of content that you might want to consume later. And then I just also select unprocess so that I know that I haven't read or listened to that specific link. So that's how I'm using Notion to stay organized and productive throughout the day, week, month, and even the year. It's a really awesome tool that helps me stay on track and it helps me to not get overwhelmed. My Notion setup is pretty simple. It's nothing crazy. It works really well for me right now, although I know I'll be making tweaks here and there and improvements, but that's the whole point of it. You get to create something that works for you and then you get to refine it because it's so flexible and easy. So I encourage you to try it. Use the links in the description below to sign up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.